All right, so in this video, we are going to create a landing page. And uh, what, what I'm going to show you how to do is create a, a landing page that has a countdown timer. So if you have an event that uh, maybe you want people to um, register on the landing page to receive updates, um, we're just going to create the landing page, uh, the design of uh, the look of it. So I'm going to click on landing pages right here. Next, I'm going to go up to the top right and I'm going to click on create new landing page right here. And I'm going to find the template that uh, has the spaceship right here and then you can see the little counter. So I'm going to click on this. Next, I'm going to name the template and you'll just name it your event, which this one's going to be an evening by the lake. Create and start editing. All right, so now we are on the preview tab right here. So we're in the landing page designer. Here is the name. If you want to rename it right here, you'll just click on rename. And you can go back to the list if you like. And then to get back into the landing page designer, you just click on the name again. And now we're in the preview. So what I like to immediately do is I like to go over here and there's this little box with this arrow pointing up to the upper right hand corner. If you click on it, it's going to open up the landing page, what it looks like in uh, full screen. Okay, so I like to keep that open because over here is a small little preview, especially when I click on edit this page, it's going to shrink it even further. All right, so right here we have a big one and over here it's kind of shrunken in a little bit, condensed. So what I like to do first is I like to take this image. So what they recommend, the best size is 250 by 75. Um, so uh, really that's the image size that you, that's the best for this. Now you can use a, a bigger image size, um, but this is what, what's recommended for this particular page. So I'm gonna click on this image right here. Um, so it says logo image. Your logo at the top of the page, suggested dimensions are 250 by 75 pixels, okay? So now I'm gonna click on upload, upload new image. So I'm gonna click on it. And then right here, you'll see add image or photo. You can cancel um, if you don't wanna do that. Please choose a file from your computer. So I'm gonna browse my computer. And I'm gonna go to my folder that has my images. And then I am going to put my image in there so I'm going to double click and then right there you can see it's sitting there and then right here it says upload selected file so I'm going to upload this file that's in here so right there is good um, now I do want to show you something because your image might not be perfectly selected this size so um, if I go to upload a new image and I go to browse file um, if I put this image in there and upload it, you'll notice that this image is humongous. <laughs> so you see huge difference. Okay, so that's just way too big. Now there is a trick to this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this image again. And then uh, over here, this uh, window pane over here, I'm going to go down to the bottom and you'll see this where it says reset to default. I'm going to click on this link and it's going to take this back out. So there we go. Okay, so I'm going to click on the image again, and now I need to get some kind of image that's close to that. Okay, so the trick is is uh, a website called Canva.com. And I already have an account, but all you have to do is click on sign up. Okay, but uh, once you sign up for, and you can do a free account, that's fine. You just click on log in. I think usually they'll let you have a pro account for so many days and it'll tell you what uh, what's included in it. But I'm going to just click on login because I already have a this is just like a demo account that I have. All right, so once you set up your account, this is gonna be your uh, home uh, your home page right here. Okay, so here's your home. Um, I'm gonna go, you need to find, depending on when you signed up, like if you signed up in the future from when I made this video, 
it may be somewhere different, but you're looking for something about create a design or a custom design. So I'm going to hit create a design and I'm going to find something that says custom size. So here's my custom size again, depending on when you uh, uh, set up a free account. Uh, and, and this is a free account. So I'm going to click on custom size. So it's asking me, you know, what do you want the custom size to be? So if I go over here, it says 250 by 75. So if I click 250 by 75, you can create a new design. And right here is, you can see that it's a rectangle. Okay, so there's the rectangle. Um, so you go over here to upload, or you find where it says upload image, and then you click on upload media right here at the top. And then you could, you know, go to Facebook, Google Drive, Instagram, but I have it on my computer device, so I'm gonna click on device. And here it is right here, Lakeland Community Theater, an evening by the lake, okay? So I got that. So once that's done loading up, I'll just click on it, and then over here, and to get it bigger, I just go over here to the sides and I click and drag over here, click and drag. And then you can move it left to right, up and down until it's all centered. So right about here it's centered because the pink lines uh, show that it's centered up. Um, now that's not going to look right to me. I mean, some people, it might not bother them. Um, right here, you could also put like elements in there if you want to. So like if you wanted to put you know, like a triangle, you could do something like this and click it. And then you kind of move it over here and kind of drag it out. And then you can click the triangle again. And then if you click on this, let me go ahead and close this out. Um, click on this, um, I believe it's position. Yeah, and then I can, um, trying to remember how there's a way to flip your image and I am not oh there we go so you just find this little this is new so you just take that little squiggly thing and then you just kind of drag it to where you want all right so if you wanted to do something like that and then if you click on the image you go up here to the color and you could select, you know, red, um, you do whatever you want. But actually that looks good. That color's perfect with this background actually. And that wasn't done on purpose. I don't know if it somehow selects that or not. But anyway, so that looks pretty good. So I could just download the PNG and then I can, so I click on this download after I have it designed and then just click download. And then save file, and I'm going to save it to somewhere on my computer, which is my downloads. And then if I go back, um, I can upload this image, browse, uh, downloads, right here, and upload selected file. And then boom, and pop it in there. So now, of course, if you want to, you could always go to download, and then the size. Like that size, you didn't really like it. It was kind of like you wanted it a little bit bigger. You could actually, um, oh, never mind. You can't do that. This is only on the pro version. See how it has the little king? So you can't do the pro version. So you could go back, actually, and then you could create a design and you could, you know, double this up. So you go 500 by 150, create new design, go back to your uploads. Pop that in there, do the same thing. So I'm not going to go uh, too slow on this one because we've already went through this, how to do that. So we're going to center it up. Go over here to Elements. Find our triangle under Recently Viewed. Pops it in there. Must be a new feature where it found that background right there. Huh, interesting. And up here is a duplicate button. So if I click on this image right here and I hit duplicate, then basically it creates another one. And then there's this little round thing right here. So you gotta find the little arrows that turns it over. And again, this is just whatever your preference is. All right, so we wanna kinda of move that over. All right, looks good to me. I'm gonna hit download. 
download again and save file go back click on the image upload new image browse there's my second one and it's a little bit bigger I don't think it was finished uploading just yet there we go so that looks a lot better so anyway that's uh, if you get stuck on an image that isn't uh, exactly the right size or whatever get you a canva account go in there and um, uh, you can pop it in there. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that because a lot of times you'll have these instructional videos and then you'll get an image in there that's a square and you're like, wait a second, this is way bigger. Like, he didn't show me how to do that. So I just want to at least show how to get around that. So, but anyway, I'm going to upload a new image and and uh, let's see here i'm just gonna put lakeland community theater in here upload image and then we there we go win a free trip to outer space um i could just put right here i could put presents and then now if i go down here and um, I think I just kind of did that without explaining. So right here, win a free trip to outer space. This is no joke. So basically, I just highlighted this whole thing. And then I just type what I want to go in there. It presents. Okay. And then, so if I hit apply and save, it's going to keep this window open right here. That way, I keep on editing. Um, so if I hit apply and save... This is going to be there, um, so if I want to edit it, and this will change over here. So let's go ahead and hit Apply and Save. And there's Presents, okay. But see how it kept this editing open? So if I hit Save and Close, it's going to close this editor for this particular thing and then take me back to the tree over here, okay. So again, I want to go to Presents, and um, I want to put an image in there because I have a logo for an evening by the lake. So I'm going to... Uh, go behind this, hit enter twice, and then you see it blinking, so it puts a little space. And then right here in this WYSIWYG editor right here, it's called uh, What You See Is What You Get, WYSIWYG editor, and I'm going to insert image. So I'm going to click on this little box with the mountain and the sun or the moon in the background, and I'm going to click on it. All right, and then um, I'm going to I already have the image in there, but I'm going to go ahead and upload local machine, and then an evening by the lake. All right, um, this one's just saying I already have it in there. Would I like to rename it or overwrite it? I'm just gonna overwrite it. So basically it's just gonna load it into your uploaded images area. Okay, so now, once, now I'm gonna click on insert. So I wanna make sure that this one's checked. So there's these little boxes because you can insert multiple images at once, but I just wanna make sure the image that I want is checked and I'm gonna click on insert. So look how big this is again, okay? So if I hit apply and save, it's humongous, okay? But the good thing in this particular one, um, you can't really do it in this area, but because this is in the WYSIWYG editor, the WYSIWYG editor gives you a little bit more flexibility. So if I click on this image, see how I clicked on it? And now it brings up this little box up in the corner. And sometimes you might have to use this little scroll bar and go up and down, but basically, and then over here goes left and right, all right? But um, you're just basically going to try to find the corner of it. So right here is the corner of it. See, when I put my mouse over top of that little box, it's going to create an arrow pointing um, you know, up and down. And then what I do is I click and I drag it. So I click and hold and drag it inwards. And as I'm clicking and dragging it in, you can see how the pixel size has changed. So right now I'm at 2,687 by 2,207 pixels. So as I drag it in, it keeps on shrinking it. So you just keep on dragging it in. Click, drag, click, drag until, until it's the size that you want. And if you want to, you can just click apply and save and just, uh, just see what it does. And eh, it's still a little too big for my taste. So I'm going to click and drag a little bit more, apply and save. And so 
looks good to me. If you want to get rid of some of the space, you can just go down here and just click. So apply and save. All right, so I think we're good there. So now, since I since it's the size that I want, I'm going to click Save and Close. Okay. So again, right here, this is a if I click on it, it's a uh, logo image. Okay. So that's why the image the logo image is only 250 by 75. So you have to work with this particular image right here. But when you're in this area, this is a uh, a header. And so you have a WYSIWYG editor. So on this one, you could size the image. So up here, you would have to go to an outside program if it doesn't, you know, if your image doesn't fit. And then right here is a WYSIWYG editor, and I can click and drag and and and, and resize it basically. So I'm going to save and close and get out of there because I'm ready to go. I got uh, Lakeland Community Theater presents an evening by the lake. All right. So next, what? So it says sorry, the deadline has passed. And the reason why is this counter has a, has a date on it that has passed, okay? So right here is the expired message. Um, just in case someone goes to your landing page after you just wanted to say, hey, sorry, the deadline has passed, just so they don't think it's coming up due. Um, we, so what we could do is below this image, we could put the date um, right here. So I could click on the image again. Okay, and then I could go below and put, so I click behind the image, hit my enter button twice, and then I could put the date. So if the date, let's just say the date is March um, 21st, 7.30 p.m., apply and save, and then now this text should be below here. So apply and save. There we go. All right. And there's a lot of space underneath here. So if we go back over, you see we scroll and we can put our cursor down here where it's blinking and just backspace that space off. And let's try that. And that's what you're doing. I mean, just see what it looks like. Presents, maybe you want no space. Kind of looks okay. I mean, it doesn't really look that bad. So if you want to add space in there, add space. If not, then, but I, I kind of like this. Um, right here, if you highlight it, you go up here to this WYSIWYG editor and you could, you know, change the size on it. You can change the font family, that type of stuff. You can, um, you can align it to the left, to the right. I like the center. So really, it gives you some control. I'm going to hit apply and save. And I think that looks good. Um, right here it says expired message, which is this, sorry, the deadline has passed. So if I click on expired lesson, um, I can put sorry, uh, this event is over, join us next year. Apply and save, see what it looks like. So save and close. Um, so anyway, you got the main header, um, timer heading. So let's go ahead and just um, Let's do the event date right here, okay? Which is going to start the um, the timer basically. So we'll put event date. It says important. You must enter the date as year, month, day, hour, minutes. Must include all fields. For example, for August 12, 2012, at 4:25, you would enter um, again year 2012. So this one will be. We'll put the date as 2021. Um, month, let's just say the month is, uh, what do we say, March. So we'd put three. Um, the day right here, so, so there's March. And the day we said was uh, the 21st. 
and then the hour and the minutes. So the hour. So you'll notice the hour is military time because if you put four, it doesn't know four a.m. or you know uh, four p.m. So you got to use military time. So um, use military time on that. So um, if it's at seven thirty military time, you take if it's seven thirty p.m. So if it's p.m. You do you do twelve and then you add seven because it's um, seven hours away from twelve from military time. You could also go to Google if you wanted to, and you say, "In uh, what time is 7:30 p.m. in military time?" So seven is 1,900 hours. So um, so it'd be so seven o'clock at night is 1,900 hours. Okay, so 19, which is basically 12 plus seven. So right here, so for the hour is 1900 hours I'll just change it to 19 so that uh, the 19 signifies 7 uh, p.m. and then uh, it's at 730 so the minutes right here is 30 all right so I'm gonna hit save and close or I probably hit apply and save just to make sure I got it right and it's 32 days away, two hours, eight minutes, and 42 seconds. So now I go ahead and save and close. You, you just want to, um, maybe you put countdown to uh, March, what did I say, 21, 7.30 p.m. Probably give us a countdown. <laughs> That's in Tehran. <laughs> I don't know why it's doing that. So weird. Anyway, uh, I think you get the military time. If you're going PM, you just take 12 and then add whatever hour it is. 7 is 7 hours, 12 plus 7 is uh, 19. So that's where I got the 19 from. All right, I spent enough time on that. Um,. So now you'll notice that the expired message changed from sorry this event is over. Now you see the countdown to launch. Now the reason why now now it switched because now there's a the dates ahead of time. So um, so right timer heading. So it's it's timer heading. register so basically if you double click over here um, it opens up the WYSIWYG editor again and you'll notice you can't see anything and the reason being is because it has the letterings white so if I highlighted the lettering right here and I click text color and I changed it to black and then hit apply now you can see it over here, but it's dark over here, so it's hard to see. So that's why it's white. That's why it's white. So I'm going to go text color and switch it to white. Okay, and then I'm going to hit apply and save. All right, so that's why I can't see it. But if I hit, if I double click until everything highlights in this box, now I could just type in um, uh, register register for register below for updates all right so now you'll still see it's black so when I hit apply and save that this white's gonna change to black I did this on purpose just in case something happens and you're like all right how do I change that okay so now it's real small so what you do is you highlight this and then what you can do is you can change the font size so let's go to like 36 all right so that's pretty big and let's hit apply and save to see if the size. All right, so the size is eh, still a little too big. So I'm going to go a little less at 24. Apply and save. And that's a little bit better. I like that. All right, so but now I can't really see that. So I want to highlight this. And then I want to go up here to text color. 
and I want to change it to white. Now you got to be careful because this background color, if you change the background color, um, it's going to change, it's not going to look good. So make sure you choose the text color because you want to change the text color right here to white so it pops, all right? So you want to make sure that this is all highlighted. Click on text color and then click on white and then apply and save. So register below for updates. All right, so it's looking good. Register now. So I'm going to hit save and close because I think this looks good. All right, and so overlay color, I would leave that alone. That just makes this dark so the white stands out. I'd leave the overlay color alone. Text color is white. And you just want to leave that one alone. That's for right here. Right here, right here. So you want to leave that alone. Theme color is green, so that's the button. So if you want to change your button to a different color, then you can. I think it pops. I kind of like it. Again, you can change the color to whatever one of these you want. I'm going to leave it alone. Um, down here you'll see copyright, company name, so we want to find the footer, because up here, like if it's a body, this would be up here is the header, so your main header, down below is the footer where your feet would be, so that's why it's called the footer. So right here, we're just going to call it uh, Lakeland Community Theater 2021, and then I'm just going to click save and close. And there it is, we're down there, Lakeland Community Theater. Um, let's see here. All right, so the last thing that I wanna do is, I could keep the rocket ship in there if I like it because the countdown uh, thing, but um, this is an evening by the lake and this is over by Lake Mirror and Lakeland. So what I wanna do is I wanna change the des desktop background photo. So this is the top, these are layers on the top. And then the background is the spaceship. So I'm going to change the desk uh, back top. Beautiful picture. A little outdated. We got SpaceX now, so they're not really launching that anymore. But um, I'm going to upload a new image right here. The width 1200 by 1600. Needs um, to cover the whole screen. So um, anyway, I showed you how to do Canva if you need to do that. But let's uh, upload new image. Browse. And I got Lake Mirror image. And I'm just going to do the same thing. And now I do want to show you there is a uh, there is a website called pexels.com that they're free stock images. So if you want a space background, then you could uh, you could get any of these backgrounds for free. Okay, so um, pexels p e x e l s dot com. So I'm going to leave that up there just for a second. Uh, again, Pexels, P E P as in Paul, E X E L S dot com. All right, but I got my image in there and I'm ready to go. I'm going to click on done editing because I have finally finished this thing. And if I go back over here and hit refresh, boom. I like it. Looks good. Now, of course, if you um, need to change anything whenever you log in, to the Dynamics Pro, you'll go to Landing Pages. You will find your landing page, and right here is the name. So right here, An Evening by the Lake. I'm going to click on it. If I need to change any information, I'm going to click on Edit This Page. And then right here, you just click on any of these and then change anything. And that is how you do a landing page design for the countdown.